Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Richmond, Kentucky that occurred in Madison County, Kentucky on August 29th and 30th, 1862. In mid-June of 1862, our intrepid General P.G.T. Beauregard was replaced by Confederate General Bragg as commander of the Army of the Mississippi. The next two months were preparation for the invasion of Kentucky itself. The plan was for General Bragg and General E. Kirby Smith to invade Kentucky in late August. On August 14th, General Smith sent Confederate Colonel John S. Scott and his cavalry forward as a spearhead of their forces. On August 29th, Scott rode north to Richmond and met the Union troops. The Union troops are commanded by Brigadier General Malon D. Manson. Manson, using his artillery and cavalry, was able to push the outnumbered Scott and his men back. Scott retreated back and met up with Confederate Brigadier General Patrick R. Claiborne's division. Meanwhile, Union General Manson reported back to Superior Major General William Bull Nelson of the results. Nelson ordered Manson to prepare his troops for another attack in the morning. Early in the morning of August 30th, Claiborne and Scott headed north to hit Manson's line at Rogersville, a few miles outside Richmond. The main part of the battle consisted of heavy artillery from both sides, followed by attack and counterattack by the Confederate Union troops for the most of the day. Fortunately for Claiborne and Scott, Confederate Major General Thomas J. Church's division arrived, allowing the Confederate troops to move up the hill without much concern. This forced the Union to retreat back north, fighting for seven miles. Eventually, Smith commanded the attack on the Union's final position at Cemetery Hill, southeast of Richmond, and was able to take 4,300 prisoners. All in all, the Union lost approximately 5,350 men, comprising of 206 men killed, 844 men wounded, and an additional 4,300 men captured. The Confederates came out on top with only 600 men killed or wounded total. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.